Hey guys, welcome. Today I'll be showing you five spray paint techniques that you can use not only on flat surfaces, but you can also apply them to curved surfaces. These five spray paint effects do not require any special equipment and you most probably already have the necessary items at home to accomplish these techniques. For the first effect, I am going to use liquid soap as a mask to block the areas that I want to remain paint free. I painted on red and green spray paint as the base colors. And then I left it to dry for about five minutes. You can use a syringe to apply the soap if you want a fine line. But if you want a thicker line, you can pour it direct from the bottle. I inserted a rod into the bottle so I could turn it easily as I applied the liquid soap. Immediately I sprayed on the gold metallic spray paint before the soap had time to run off. I let the gold paint dry for about 45 seconds. Then I rinsed off the soap under the tap. And there you go, a cool spray paint effect using liquid soap. For the second spray paint effect, I would be using a piece of lace, but you can use any other item that can be used as a stencil. Using purple as the base layer, I secured the lace to the bottle with tape, but tread would give you a neater finish. I sprayed on the silver metallic paint and let it dry for a few seconds, then removed the lace. If you're enjoying the video so far, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe and notification buttons below. Using orange and green spray paint as the base layers, I fitted the bottle with a wrapper I got from a papaya that I bought in the grocery. I sprayed it with black spray paint, waited for about 45 seconds for it to dry, then removed the wrapper. Hydro dipping is where paint resting on the surface of water is then transferred onto an object through dipping. For this effect, you will require a water filled container deep and wide enough to hold the object that you would be hydro dipping. Spray your color or colors onto the surface of the water. You want to be generous with the amount of paint you spray onto the water. If, however, you want your base coat to be seen in some areas, then you can spray the paint in such a way to leave open areas on the water. Gently and slowly, you need to immerse the object in the water. Take it out of the water and admire your marbleized one-of-a-kind work of art. The paint splatter effect is simple yet effective. You will need your cans of spray paint, a brush, and a container to hold the paint. I used some baking paper. I used black as a base for this effect. I sprayed the paint onto the paper, then dipped the edges of the brush into the paint, and just flicked the paint onto the bottle. I did dry out the excess paint on the paintbrush before I moved on to the next color. 
If you would like finer dots, you could always stipple them on with a toothbrush. For the fifth and final paint effect, I will be using a plastic bag on one bottle and some cling wrap on the other bottle. I cut the plastic bag, laid it flat and scrunched it up to get as many wrinkles as possible. I then spray painted pink, green and blue onto the plastic bag. Working quickly in order to avoid the paint drying out on the paper, I rolled the paper around the bottle and I removed it immediately so that the paper would not stick to the bottle. For the areas that look sparse, I simply sprayed on more spray paint onto the paper and dabbed it onto the bottle. You would definitely want to wear a pair of gloves when applying this effect. And here is the same exact technique using cling wrap or saran wrap. I noticed that the paint dried out faster on the plastic bag than on the saran wrap, but there was more blending of the colors than with the plastic bag. These five spray paint effects can be used on all types of surfaces, such as metal, wood, plastic, glass, and various other materials. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Take care and bye for now.